Cigarpage.com is the name of the website. My name's Tim, that's Doc, that's Goose. Your name is whatever your name is. Let's do an unboxing. All right. Uh, oh, from Don Pepin Garcia Cigars. My father, Don Pepin Garcia, you know him. Um, you, you know, they make some of the best stuff. This one is called Jaime Garcia, who is Don Pepin Garcia's son. Um, the Reserva Especial. Um, this is just one of those cigars that I don't see a lot of write-ups about. I don't see a lot of reviews about it, but yet they just sell every single day really, really well. Um, there's something special about this cigar, so let's do an unboxing. I picked the Super Gordo size, which is almost six inches long. It's like five and three quarters. Um, the ring gauge is a 66, so it's a really unique size. It's a kind of rare to have that kind of shorter length. Well, it's not really that short, but it's like a little less than six, but to have it be that chunky 66 ring gauge, it's a pretty unique size. Um, some other cigars that my father makes, like the Judge, um, a few others. I think there's a San Cristobal size that's uh, similar to that. So it's not entirely unusual for this factory, but still in general, it is kind of an unusual size. Uh, but uh, Jaime Garcia, Reserva Especial, really, really, understated traditional simple box i like that um, it's not going to necessarily catch your eye uh, sitting on a shelf um, this, you know the sticker is pretty pretty fancy but aside from that it's very simple and i almost like tend to, to think that some manufacturers go with the simple box because they feel so strongly about the cigar and they feel like the, the cigar can kind of hold its own on, on it on its own if that makes any sense but um, this is definitely one that uh does really, really well in the sales department. Look at these monsters. They are big, they are bold, they are flavorful. Very, very nice. Uh, one other note about the box, sorry if you were. One other note about the box, they do have boxing dates, which is kind of cool. Um, I thought for a while there, I thought all the My Father cigars had the boxing date on it. I think they still do. But uh, this one is a relatively new shipment and it has the boxing date on it, March of 2022. So pretty fresh. Uh, let's take a look at the cigars themselves. So these are um, Figurados. They do have the tapered tip here. Um, and it's pretty unique because I think they might actually be, they might actually have an open head, which is a very unusual, unusual thing here yeah they do so these actually come pre-cut or they don't they don't apply the cap in full to the top there so that's a kind of cool feature and with the 66 ring gauge if it didn't have that bit of a taper there it would be a little difficult for me at least to kind of get that in my pie hole so to have the tapered head there it does make it a, a bit of a smaller ring gauge the part you actually put in your mouth and you know the more i think about it the more i really like this pre-cut um, or I keep saying pre-cut, it's not pre-cut, it's just uncapped. Um, I really like that because uh, it prevents you from overcutting, which I see a lot, and I think overcutting is one of the most common causes of a wrapper unraveling. Um, you just wanna cut just enough, and for a torpedo tip like this, that's exactly the amount I would suggest. So if you can imagine the torpedo tip not being, uh, or, or being closed off, there'd be about a quarter of an inch there on the top, and you just want to cut that much off. So this is a really good visual indicator of how much I would personally suggest cutting off a uh, torpedo. But uh, great, solid in hand. Again, that 66 ring gauge, there's a lot of tobacco in here. Um, it's a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. Um, you can see it's not quite as dark as some Connecticut broadleaf wrappers out there. I actually see that as kind of a good thing or a good sign. I just find that uh, sometimes it seems like when a wrapper is overly dark, Sometimes it can overpower, like, like it has um, a really heavy flavor, um, whether it be uh, a sweetness or, or even um, like a charcoalness. Uh, the, a really, really dark wrapper, it can just be intense. And sometimes it can overpower even stronger Nicaraguan uh, fillers like this, this cigar has. So that lighter wrapper just tells me it might have a little bit more of a brighter flavor. And this is all just kind of musings and and um, just past experiences. It's not, uh, you know, there are definitely some cigars out there that have darker wrappers that don't 
uh, overpower. Um, and, and there are plenty of people out there that like that in more intense flavor that a darker wrapper is gonna bring. But for me personally, when I see a broadleaf wrapper like this that has more of a natural brown color, I just think to myself, ooh, that's gonna be more to my liking. But let me uh, take a whiff here. Really nice pre light aromas, very barnyard. Um, even a little bit of like almost like a, I don't wanna say vanilla, but um, just a, a lighter, oh, floral, like a little bit of a floral uh, scent to it. But um, good pre light, uh, just looks great, feels great. All Nicaraguan long fillers. Coming from my father, that's generally what they use in all their blends. And the tobaccos that they select for their cigars are always top notch. Um, this is pretty pretty full bodied, um, even though I don't get a lot of spice on, on the pre-light. Um, in my experience, these do have a good amount of power and uh, some spice on the back of the palate. But uh, just a really flavorful and uh, yet smooth cigar. Uh, thanks to the ring gauge and the, uh, you know, the, the good construction and the proper aging, it does burn really nice slow and the, the smoke itself is uh, flavorful, strong, but it stays smooth. It's really a winning combination. So from My Father's Cigars, Jaime Garcia, Reserva Special. This is a super gordo size. If you like big ring gauges, if you like them strong, bold, but smooth, this would be an excellent, excellent choice for you.